The President of the Republic of the Gambia, His Excellency Adam Barrow, on Saturday laid the foundation stone for a 23 megawatt solar PV plant with an 8 megawatt battery storage project in the Jambur PV site in Greater Banjul area. The project is part of the Gambia Electricity Restoration and Modernization Project JAM. The solar plant project is aimed to improve the power generation capacity and efficiency of NAWEX transmission network and increase access to reliability of electricity for socio-economic development. The project is funded by the World Bank and the European Investment Bank to the tune of over $27.8 million. The construction of the solar plant would be done by a Chinese company TBE and the duration of the project is 12 months. President Adam Barrow says the project would help the Gambia reduce the importation of petroleum to the country. In the roadmap, solar PV is considered as the cheapest form of renewable energy in the Gambia. This project will inject clean energy into the electricity, thus contributing to the achievement of the Gambia's climate change targets of nationally determined contributions. It will also help us to diversify our electricity generation sources, reducing the country's over-dependence on imported petroleum products. Honorable Abdullah Job, Minister of Petroleum and Energy, explains the areas that the project would strengthen after completion. The project, as MD said, comprises of the solar, the 225,000 volts transmission line that will connect uh, Birkama to Jabang substation um, to be able to evacuate power that is transmitted onto the transmitted through the OMVG line to the Gambia, and also has. Um, TND improvements will have um, primary substations that will be upgraded. We'll have distribution transformers. Almost over 50 of them will be replaced to improve the quality of um, electricity supply service. Mr. Nani Juara, the director of NAVEX, says the project would contribute to the country's wavering climate change mitigation as well as improve the energy security of the Gambia. The objective of this project is to provide least cost generation capacity for NAVEX and to contribute to the Gambia's unwavering efforts in climate change mitigations. This project, with other planned projects, such as the 150 megawatts regional solar project that is to be in um, Jarasoma, and also um, the NAMA project, which is about 10.5 megawatts, um, to be located in Farafenye and Basse, will significantly contribute to the energy security and affordability in this country. Mr. Matar Touré, the energy specialist at World Bank's office in Banjul, highlights the World Bank's contribution to NAVEC for electricity sustainability in the Gambia. Over the last few years, Your Excellency, the bank has identified its support of NAVEC from an initial um, emergency supply project in 2016. This addressed critical supply bottlenecks in the sector and formed the launch pad for our current operation, being the Gambia Electricity Restoration and Modernization Project, JAP funded to the tune of $164 million. Significant milestones have been attained in the sector in partnership with key stakeholders. Mr. Daniel Tang, the contractor of the project, assures the sponsors that the project would be accomplished. In Africa, we have completed dozens of power and energy infrastructure projects in over 20 countries with a value of more than $3 billion US dollars. We are applying the Chinese state-of-the-art equipment and the smart technology to the Gambia through this project. And we are confident that with close collaboration of the Gambian government, founders, NAWAC, owners, engineer, and the contractor, the project will be accomplished successfully and ultimately benefit the Gambian people, which is in line with the energy sector roadmap and the, the National Development Plan of His Excellency, President Adama Barrow's administration. 
The project is in line with the National Development Plan and the Gambia Electricity Sector Roadmap, among other national policies. The project will promote the extension, reliability, and quality of the energy supply nationally, as well as diversifying energy sources to include renewables. Reporting for Kerfaru, I am Landin Sise.